The last time we talked about a Batmobile here, we spent way too much time comparing the Batman to a vampire that we all know and love, but don't worry, we won't be doing that again today. Are you just going to compare him to some other nerdy role that that same dude has played? Yep. That sounds about right. Don't listen to other people. Hi, I'm Josh. This is Josh Build Stuff, and I'm here to tell you today, don't listen to other people. If I had listened to other people, I wouldn't have bought this cool Lego Batmobile set because the early sentiment that I heard from others was that it wasn't that great of a set. I feel like if I had listened to other people, I would have missed out on this very cool Technic set. Also, you can extend that same logic to other aspects of your life. My wife tells me all the time that I never listen to her, and my marriage is great. At least, I think it is. I wasn't listening when she told me if it was good or not. So don't listen to other people, exception, of course, being this video. Listen to me while I'm telling you why you should buy this Lego Batman set with an asterisk behind it. But today we are talking about the all new, the Technic, the Batman, the Batmobile set. This set came out, I think in November, 2021. It kind of got overshadowed by a lot else that was released around the same time. This set contains 1,360 pieces and costs $100 here in the US. Again, this is the Batmobile from the upcoming movie entitled The Batman. Sounds a little entitled if you ask me. And my initial impressions of this set, it's very cool. Again, this is the Technic version of that set. I made a video about the non-Technic version of this same vehicle. Um, there are some good and some bad things about this set, but my overall impressions as someone who both likes Technic and Batman are that this is a very great little set. And I'll tell you why. I probably shouldn't call it little. It is a hundred dollar set, so it's not for everyone. I will tell you who should and shouldn't buy this set. But of course, I think we would do this set a disservice if we did not first build it. At least in the timeline of this video, here's a build of this set. The build for this set felt very familiar. Assuming you are familiar with building this like mid-size Technic vehicle build, you're going to build a lot of like mechanisms that you don't know what they're going to do, but spoiler, they're probably going to be like some sort of steering mechanism and steering column that's hooked up to make the front wheels steer and then the back wheels turn and turn some cylinders within the engine components uh, of this set. It's not a bad set unless you don't like Technic, in which case you won't like this set. Unfortunately, I probably don't have an entire speed build of this set ready for you because I accidentally hit record on a regular video instead of like just a time-lapse video on my phone. And so I've got like a 35 minute 4K video in like a bunch, like I got hours of 4K footage of me just slowly building this set and I can't export those off my phone and on my computer fast enough to actually make that part of the video, but still, it was a long build, it was a Technic build, and it was an okay build, unless you don't like Technic again, and then you wouldn't enjoy this build. I want to play a fan favorite game that we've played on the channel before, but first, I want to tell you who should and shouldn't buy this set. You should buy this set if you like LEGO Technic or if you like LEGO Batman. If you like both of those things, then bonus, you should definitely buy this set. I think you'd regret not having it. It's $100, which is a little pricey for some people, but for Technic fans, that's a pretty familiar price point, and you get like a big substantial Lego build in the end and like it's not nothing for a hundred dollars. I'll say that. It'd be weird if they sold you nothing for a hundred dollars but hey as Lego fans we would probably still buy that right? But if you don't like Technic that may be an automatic no for picking up this set. I wouldn't say this is like the Technic set you should start with if you don't already like Technic but if you don't like Technic but if you are a very big Batman sp fan specifically a uh, uh, fan stan of Lego uh, Robert Pattinson Batman then yes sure pick up this set if you're looking to collect all of this version of the Batmobile but it's not the best version of the Batmobile that we've seen in Technic form. I'll talk more about that when we get to the details of this set but first let's uh let's play a little game shall we? It's time to play everyone's favorite game on the channel. It's called Who Said It, better known as Who Said It, where I tell you a quote and you tell me if that quote is from the Batman, from the Batman movie, or from Cedric Diggory from uh, Harry Potter episode four, The Goblet of Fire. Both of those roles played by, of course, the same actor. Let's get started. The first quote is, you know the prefect's bathroom on the fifth floor? It's not a bad place for a bath. Just take your egg and mull things over in the hot water. Was that the Batman or was that our boy Cedric? You guessed it. That was the Batman in the upcoming The Batman movie. Again, this movie's not yet come out, so I, it sounds like something he would say, though. I can't wait to hear the context of that quote. Quote number two. 
is, I realized I never really thanked you properly for tipping me off about those dragons. Was that Cedric or was that the Batman? You guessed it, it was the Batman again. I cannot wait to see how they integrate dragons into the DC universe. Will be very exciting. Quote, number three, third and final quote, Harry, take my body back, will you? Take my body back to my father. Was that Cedric or the Batman? That's right, it was again the Batman. I wonder what's happening with his body, who this Harry character is in the Batman movie. And again, the movie's not come out yet. And again, I think that's probably three times is probably good enough for the same joke over and over again. Thank you so much for playing Who Said It? I'll see you next time. Dun, 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 dun. That was a weird bit. If you will bat indulge me for a few bat moments, I would love to tell you about the details of this set and what about this set I really appreciate and what maybe could be improved a little bit. First off, what could be improved are the general aesthetics of the thing. Like if you look at the set, you'd be like, cool, that looks like, a, I don't know, kind of like a muscle car, kind of a boxy car. I mean, it's got bigger wheels in the back, so that makes you think it is kind of like a cool sports car, muscle car looking thing. You may not immediately think Batmobile. I think one of the main features of the new Batmobile is that it kind of, it like, it's angled, it's wider at the top than at the bottom, and so like that isn't really conveyed nor conveyable using Technic in this case. I don't think that comes across as well as it could have. But if you kind of disregard that and don't try to look at this set as a perfect, accurate replica of the new The Batmobile from the Batman movie, well, then there's still a lot here to appreciate. For starters, because this is Technic, it is like full of cool moving parts and pieces. Again, if you've built like $100 Technic sets, you've probably come to expect some of these things in a vehicle, like a random little gear on the top of the car that's got a steering column running through the entire vehicle that lets you turn those front wheels. There's a pretty complicated like steering mechanism. You've, I mean, I'm almost taking it for granted at this point, but like, look how much is going on along the length of this vehicle. Also, when I roll this vehicle forward, there's fire out the back that's like spinning around. The whole rear of this vehicle is basically dedicated to being an engine part. And if you want to talk cool technical components, not no pun intended, there's like a crazy cylinder in here. And it's got like five of those little tan gear pieces. And when I turn these wheels, so many different things happen. Like if I turn them both at the same time, the back fire spins faster. And that not only spins the fire, the wheels go. You've also got the pistons inside that engine that are firing up and down. This is inside like a clear engine block. I don't know if that's an engine block, whatever it actually is called. There's a lot of cool stuff happening here that I guess we've come to expect from Technic sets, but Lego doesn't really have to do that. Maybe I'm more impressed by those things right now because I've recently completed a build of a kind of similarly sized vehicle that I'm not going to talk about here. That'll be in a separate video, but like this, this new car is almost the same size as the Batmobile. This is not a Lego car, but it's a building block vehicle and it lacks a lot of features that are in that car. It's got like basic steering, but there's no way to do that. There's no mechanism. There's no Technic stuff. It's brick built. It is boring, honestly, compared to this Technic vehicle. And so I'm just, I'm a little more impressed than maybe I should be. Also, this vehicle does not have a light in it. That's because it has two lights in it. Look at this, it's super, I mean, this is a feature that me and my kids like. Boy, that's, um, that's underwhelming uh, when there's bright lights shining at the thing, but there's a red light that shines into that clear engine compartment. That's cool. That's still hooked up to the same like turning mechanism that is uh, turning the front wheels and like also turning other stuff in the back of the car. There's a lot happening like technically inside this car, but there's not only one light, there's two lights. There's a little lever in here and Oh man, again, that's very uh, uh, underwhelming looking. There is a red light brick in the back. There is a yellowish goldish light brick here in the front under the hood, which shines in this compartment. It kind of shines through these ridges in the hood, which is I think like a defining feature on the new Batmobile. That's very cool. The thing looks very cool at night or in low light conditions. Again, it's not really coming through in this context, but both me and my kids, we both appreciate those features very much. Also, there is still some little level of interior modeled in here. Like there is a steering wheel. There is some like stickers that depict some dash elements and stuff. And again, that lever is inside, which triggers that light on the inside. There's seats on the inside, but like most of this thing, it looks kind of utilitarian. Like it's been mainly dedicated to having a big crazy engine in the back. The wheels are kind of 
studded with armor-plated looking rims, which feels very Batmobile-esque. The blue flames shooting out of the hood, shooting out of the engine, shooting out of the rear of the car. That feels very Batmobile to me. Otherwise, um, I don't really want to just say like whether or not this feels like a Batmobile, because that's more a commentary on the direction of the movie than on this as a set by itself. As a set by itself, again, very cool. Not the most interesting vehicle in terms of like lines and curves and details and all that. But again, I recently just built this set, which is uh, not the most interesting in terms of lines and curves and details, regardless of you're, if you're a fan of the, that brand of vehicle or not. So um, Technic is not the best at depicting vehicle details, but it's still good at doing other things like throwing some moving features into the set. And I think it's done all of those things that we can expect of it. It's done those very well. And hey, one other thing, no one ever wants to talk playability in Technic sets. They want to talk functionality and like other things that those sets can do. But playability is actually a big factor in Technic sets in my house because both of my children, including my two-year-old, they love playing with these sets and they couldn't care less that this isn't a minifigure scale set. My kid has tried to stick every single minifigure he can find inside this Technic Batmobile and drive the thing around. Technic sets are also, they are sturdy and stiff and versatile. They're not going to fall apart when you drop them on the floor. Like like they're made almost more to be played with than some other regular old Lego system sets. Hopefully I haven't defended you by saying such truth. It's the truth. The set is strong and sturdy and doesn't fall apart. It's great for kids, not for kids to build, but sure, for kids to play with. Just if they break something or something does fall apart, good luck putting that thing back together. And so, as always, I like to preempt the question that you all are going to ask, and that is, why are you making this video? Well, the purpose of this video is to say that, well, uh, don't listen to other people, for one. I've already said that part and also like this sets better than some people might think it is and I like it I think I am a Technic guy I'm a Technic fan I'm not gonna buy like every Technic set because a lot of the bigger more detailed sets detailed in quotations of course because it is again just Technic a lot of those sets are a little more expensive than I want to pay but like if I had unlimited money I'd buy all these Technic sets uh, but for now maybe I'll just buy ones from popular franchises that I know I will enjoy nonetheless. But as always, stop asking me why I'm making these videos. The answer is always just because I feel like it. And also, as always, thanks so much for watching. I hope you've had a good time and enjoyed this video, and I've helped inform your decisions on whether or not you should go out and pick up this set that you may or may not have already missed out on. Again, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this thing. Be sure to like, subscribe, and tell your friends. I will see you next time, bat friends.